Greetings and salutations, Johnny Matlock and Metal Plus. Um, hang on a second, let me get this working. There we go. Um, right, album of the year lists, uh, empty fuck a dozen. Um, I thought this year, last year, I think I did like 20, 30 albums, like 25, I don't know. Can't remember, that can't be asked looking. Um, so this time I thought I'd split it into four small vids. Uh, first up, this one, which is going to be EPs and splits. Then I'll do a black metal one, a death metal one, and then everything else, you know, doom, thrash, goth, whatever else, punk. <laughs> whatever came out, and probably each of them will have, I don't know, maybe 10 and three on other mentions, something like that. We shall see. So this is the EPs and splits. In the background, we're listening to an EP, which is this. Black Birch. And this is um, four track EP. Uh, I can't remember where they came from now. I've not actually shown this or anything yet, but it's sort of got a painting on one side and then the four tracks on the other side. Um, I said I've not shown this yet. Uh, I was waiting until to do it on a collection update, but just didn't get down to it. Kept forgetting, because it's a nice poster, which is cool. With the lyrics, the lyrics? Yeah, the lyrics. And it also comes with this. Now, I don't know what's in it. It's a little black envelope. Let's have a look. I said I hadn't opened it, so. Let's get the seal off it. Got it on in the background on um, Bandcamp. So I'll do it off Bandcamp. Oh, there we go. Black Birch Perfume Oil for Skin, Hair, and Beard. Which is that. Looks like a sample bottle full of piss, but there you go. A little patch in there as well, which is sweet. Oh yeah, and a pin badge, button badge, whatever you want to call it. It's a fucking badge. So yeah, that's quite sweet. So yeah, I've got some. I don't know what it smells like? But there you go. Put that back in there. That's cool. So yeah, so, so what we're listening to is Black Birch. I think that's something like Swedish or something like that. Shall we have a look? Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Looking through me band camp app. Black Birch, come on, you got to be somewhere. There. Uh, yeah, Swedish. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's cool. Um, yeah, right. Next up, um, should we stick with EPs? Yeah. Uh, mentioned this in my last death metal update. But I got to mention it again. Look at that fucking thing, because the glare. Aeon's abyss with Insidious Truth, a fucking awesome EP, Australian death metal, and just awesome, awesome stuff, can't wait for the next thing that they put out, it's the CD itself, got loads of skulls, and there we go. First of the EPs. Uh, another one I also mentioned. On a previous update is this. Maldiction. Okay. But while I'm here, I actually got off my ass and I brought up the vinyl. Covered in all its glory. How wonderful does that look? 
Lich and the boys. Awesome, awesome stuff. This is so good. Well worth a million year wait. That's a, a, such a cool t-shirt. should put that in the ocean. Oh yeah, I got the poster as well. Want to see the poster? I should do. I should do. There we go. Cosmic Key did the vinyl and Matcha did the tape. So I've yet to pick up the CD, but I'll probably pick it up in January, end of January, going to Glasgow to, to uh, Dead Winter Festival. Uh, and Malediction of Playing along with shit ton of Scottish bands and um, Consecration of Playing as well, Liam's band. So that'd be cool to see them again live. Uh, that's the vinyl. Not a lot to it, really. But fucking sounds awesome. Absolutely dead. So that, that's Malediction. EP, what else have we got here? Oh, yeah. I'm talking to Scottish bands. I think these are actually at Dead Winter Festival in January as well. This is the wonderfulness that's Penny Coffin. Four tracks again. This was on Macho. Shiny is a shiny thing. Apologies for the glare. But yeah, fucking awesome. What a cover as well. This was called Conscripted Modality. It came out early in the year. Um, great stuff. Obviously showed it when it came out. Just wicked, fucking heavy and dirty, nasty, audible, slow and fast at the same time. Well, at different times, obviously. Fucking brilliant. Lots of bits of Penny Coffin. Got a beanie as well, as you do. Can't remember if it's if I got it. I'm, I'm sure I had it on bloody CD or um. Tape, but I can't find them so well. I gifted them to someone or not. I can't remember. If I did, you're welcome. Um, yeah, what we got next? Uh, uh, uh EPs. Let's do, yeah, tape. I showed this in the past. Gonna be, uh, Mrs. Gorgon Vomit. Uh, is this on Dry Cough? Yeah, it's on Dry Cough Records. Uh, saw these supporting coffin mulch early on in the year and are fucking wicked. Really, really good. Wildlife. Absolutely mental. Um, actually works better live. This is still good, but vocals are a bit full on. Um, next up, right. Hang on a minute. I've got to fucking check my phone for this one because it does, there's nothing actually on. Um, the CD at all. So let me just check this. I was going to do notes, but I'm too fucking lazy. Right. The band are called Cult of Sobek. Scottish band. The album's called Petsukos. Something like that. Audible things. Yeah, it doesn't actually mention a band on it anyway. This is kind of Scottish doomy sort of stuff. Almost stonerly. Um, only three tracks. Obsessed with crocodiles, apparently. Track two is called Lord of the Crocodiles. Imagine that. There you go. They're called again. Cult of Sobek, is it? Yeah. Cult of Sobek. Scottish Doom. Stone of the Sludgy. Good shit. Um, next up, next up, next up. Uh, yeah. We've got a couple from Spider God. UK black metal. Melodic black metal. Both signed. Uh, both numbered. Limited to 50. So what we got? 37 out of 50. 48 out of 50. Uh, these are cover versions. 
this one includes uh, under everybody there an idea uh, under this black metal version of men at works you come from a land down under the zip and uh, everybody is the um back street whatever they're called i think um come on what the other two are back, back streets back tonight bollocks everybody that one uh this is black and pink is female cover versions of female so we've got uh Zara Larson, Oliver Lodigo, Demi Lovato and Ariana Grande. So they're just black metal versions of pop songs. Mad as a box of vlogs, but really fucking cool. Back of the great EP from Spider God. Oh yeah, and this is an EP as well. This is the Lunar Chamber. Uh, I've not actually showed it on anything yet. A few people have, it only came out in the last month or so. Uh, six tracks, maybe. Something like that. This is technical progressive death metal. Good shit. There you progressive. It's a nice lilac vinyl. Or well, not nice if you're logic Jovic. Does it fit with it? That's no, not bad. Ish. It's not on the floor. As professional as ever, mate. As professional as ever. No, I can't see nothing. Nothing here, my son. Anyway, that's good as well. Um, Try those with peanut from the live stream on Sunday. Um, next up, we've got um some splits um first up one of my favorite welsh black metal bands are split nos and they're split with i think it's source the year i showed this in the previous so bare bones there's nothing on the bloody thing i think this was limited to like 20 or something like that it's not a lot of them on this this is on um Clandestine Records. It's called Exorcism by Knife. Two Source of the Air tracks, uh, Two Asplid Nos. Um, Source of the Air is very dungeon synthy. Good shit. Um, I think they're thinking about a CD of that or another cassette version. Which I think I might have ordered, but I can't remember. Um, yeah, let's go that. Next up is uh, this. It's a split between, it's called Horror Worshipping Death. And it's Blood Rage and Mortuary Ghoul. I think Mark G with C showed this. In a recent update, it came from... This one was on... Cavernous, which if you can see that. Cavernous Records, five tracks by each. Um as it as it looks like it's dirty nasty horrible death metal, horror infused, hence the horror worshipping death. And it's fucking great. Cavernous records, as I said, really good stuff. But I also picked up tape as well with a slightly different colour, which is black and white cover. Um, this is the uh, US one on Flows and Screams imprints, is it? Yeah, Flows and Screams imprint. Mostly Google and um, Blood Rage. As um, so we've got the logo on each side, which is nice. It's a darker red than it shows up on the camera, but um, yeah. Um, Love a bit of blood, blood Rage. It's um, members of, let me have a think. Now, Tom, I think, does guitar and he's from Clip Lot. Uh, we've got a um, man from Trench Foot. I think I've made 
body asphyxiation and trench foot. Is it Joe from Trench Foot? And hmm. did I show? I'm sure I've recently shown. Yeah, Ryan from Seven Doors. That's the other one, isn't it? Um, so yeah, same three guys. Fucking brilliant stuff. Anyway, that's that. Um, what else have we got here? Uh, done that. Done that. Done that. Oh, I thought I might as well show this one on here. That's an EP that came out this year. Uh, the do of Sepultura's uh, Bestial Devastation. Caballeros both to Sepultura. It's the Boys CD. I've got the actual Morbid Visions album on vinyl, but that's just it. Next up, um, three more to go. Um, as you can see there, I've got two copies of this. Don't ask me how I've got two copies. Uh, Dream on Ending and Worm. This is Star Path. This is awesome. Really good. Uh, very progressive. The worm stuff is more progressive than before. It's on that vinyl. Blue and white. Which is cool. Merge. Excellent stuff. Um, it's it's a, it's a glower. Uh, the Dream on Ending just sounds like Dream on Ending stuff anyway. Uh, but the worm is certainly a lot more progressive. Um, but yeah, it's good stuff. Uh, two more to go. What else have we got? Right, we've got this one. This is White Lung Torture by Jesus Wept and Slow Car. Uh, this is Grindy, uh, Grind Core, Go Grind, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the Tro Car is full on, proper Grindy, Jesus Wept, uh, more Carcass Worship, the good stuff. What have we got now? Yeah, we've got an insert. Oops, I saw a split. Uh, both really good stuff. This one just comes on white vinyl. So that's excellent. And last but by no means least, the final EP and split on my album of the year list. There's some black metal. And this is Vampiric Lights and Moloch. Excellent black and white cover. Yeah, this is good stuff. Quite atmospheric, a little bit of dungeon synthy at times. Um, but also a bit of the full on black metal. Um, I think Van Pellet likes it from something like Transylvania or something like that. And I can't remember that more because I'm not too sure. Uh, this comes on. You can see it looks like a sort of goldy browny with a bit of a smoky look on it. Yeah, good stuff. There we go. That's my um, album of the year splits and EPs. Um, hope you enjoyed the black birch in the background. Uh, I said next up I'll do a um, black metal one, a death metal one, and then the final one will be anything that isn't that. Um, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Oh, don't forget to like in the comments all your um eps anything that i've missed i've probably forgotten loads because i forget my own name at times um you all right um and i'll see you in the next one laters